Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're back with Empire. For all of you all that are new to our channel, welcome. welcome. Go ahead and become a family member. Hit the subscribe button. Hey. Go ahead and rate this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't even matter to me. You're here. I thought you were going to say rate this video. Rate. <laughs> It's the southern draw. Yeah. So, um, and if you're an old family member, y'all know what to do. Y'all comfortable. We're going to get it popping down in the comments section. Starting off, we're not going to go through every scene because I don't think it's necessary for this episode. But no. this is, um, the title was The Hardiness is Mother. And I know what it means now. So first we open up where we got um, Cookie sitting down, get ready to eat breakfast, right? And then I took a toe Lulu last week. If you wanted to trick her into eating a little healthier, you can't go from fried chicken and collard greens and macaroni and cheese to so that bullskin food that yeah. you brought to her last week. You don't have to finesse that thing. So what they did, they got Raheem. Yeah. A guy doing vegan soul food chef. Yes, indeed. And he came through and he and fixed her a good meal. Too, boy. Look, if I if we had a vegan soul food restaurant around here, I promise you, I, I could probably I probably I'll could go, go vegan. Yeah, I could try. I ain't saying all that, <laughs> but I'll go. I'll go try it. For the sure, whole food's sure. vegan stuff is bomb. Yeah, here. it's good. Yeah, but I mean, they put so much of the cauliflower you can eat. <laughs> I like the diversity of eating. You just like to eat because you're a foodie. I am a foodie, so, so I'll try anything once. Some stuff, not everything. <laughs> so they all sitting at the table and whatnot, and um. Everybody's eating the vegan food together, which is good, so that she don't feel like that she's missing out on her bacon, eggs, toast, and waffles, and whatnot. Yeah. So Lulu was like, you know what? It feels really good for all of our family to sit around at the table once again. Cookie said, hold on. Andre ain't here. Yeah. Lulu said, because I told him not to come. He said, so you still own that. Mm -hmm. You still own that, for real? Lucia said, listen, the boy tried to kill me. Cookie said, newsflash? Everybody at the table at one time wanted to kill you, huh? And he looking like he looking like, huh? True, true. Yeah. So he ended up giving um Cookie this beast of a fitness watch. God darn, and fourteen karat gold Fitbit. But what she didn't realize was he got he got her logged in to his phone. Yep. So he's every, able to see her heart rate and her blood pressure. I said, well, uh -huh. what what Fitbit is that? Yeah. Because mine do the heart rate, but they don't do the blood pressure. I wouldn't want to see my blood pressure all day long. Not watch, at work. Watch, eventually that, that day going to gonna come out. That's somebody done created that. It's going to be on sale. Out. Yeah, it's, it's out there somewhere. For a low, low price of $599. <laughs> you got to put the 99 on it to sell it. <laughs> so, um, not going to talk about Tiana. Because that's going to come into play probably next week. So, Portia comes over there to visit Cookie and Tells Cookie, listen, this is a, are your messages, but you got this girl named Asia that keep you on know, calling you. She said, hey, Asia. You mean China? She said, she said one, one of them. One of them, you know, China. That's what I, I said. said. <laughs> so she said, you know what? Call her back and let her know that I'm going to send a car for her. And I said, we talk, we're talking about China, China? Prison Bay, China? Yeah. Okay, her. Tilda. A.K.A. Tilda. <laughs> Tilda. <laughs> So Cookie brings her to the house and you know she's basically trying to dim her glow up in front of her because yeah. you know everybody don't have it like Cookie. They get out, they don't know what they walk into. They gotta back rebuild into. their whole life. Yeah, so Cookie yeah. just walked back into a new and improved version of her life before, you know, but she you got think about it, up. Cookie still had to rebuild her life too though. She Even did. though she had it all, she still had to rebuild it to trust back with everybody, get back acclimated with the newness of the business, learn how to use the internet. I didn't mean that. What did you just? I said learn how to use the internet. I didn't get it, but anyway, maybe it's just late. You know, sometimes people. Oh, they, they don't know internet. anything. Michael but now and today, they can get on Facebook. They can get on Instagram. They just I, the little group. A little group that you don't that you done found on Facebook. I didn't find it. Somebody they found added. you. <laughs> Listen, I'm in this group on Facebook, right? I don't know who added me to it, but one day I just started seeing these crazy live streams and i was like what the hell is going on so i clicked into it right this is a rabbit hole sorry um yeah and i clicked into it right and it's it's called room something i ain't telling y'all the name of it because which i ain't gonna do when 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 did the prison inmates start going live 
Yep. Live in there smoking weed. What in a drinking tea? They be drinking. They be doing rap battles. They be in there talking to the women. I say, what kind of book? And I be sitting there be like, don't you hit nothing on the screen while you're watching it. Yeah. And say, so you could do all that from the prison? <laughs> I said, what? I mean, there's a whole lot of other stuff that go on too that's, you know, kind of on the normal side. But that right there, I was like, what the hell? Crazy. But anyway, so we got um China, a.k.a. Tilda over there. And, you know, they're reminiscing about the past and, mm -hmm. you know, the glow up and this, that, and the third. And they actually were talking about, you know, how they used to have bets on people that when they got released, uh, how soon Should it was when back. they were going to come back into the prison. So Cookie ended up asking about Pound Cake. Well, Pound Cake, got, you know, we had a flashback and Pound Cake actually got out because y'all remember she made a deal with the guard uh -huh. that if she went ahead and gave them um, um the warning of what was about to go down, she would get her sentence released and get out yeah. early so she can go find her daughter. Well, she had gotten out. Well, Pound Cake ended up coming back to prison five, five years, years later. later. Like, dang. And come to find out. Throughout those five years, still she ain't. still never found her freaking daughter. So while we're in this flashback, we see that this girl is begging Cookie, you know, to talk to her. Can I speak mm. to you? You know, I need to, you know, I need to apologize. Da, 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 da. Cookie won't, won't for it. Nope. And eventually, Pound Cake was able to apologize. And she basically told Cookie straight up, just like the title say, the heart is his mother. Listen, uh -huh. you a mom? And I'm a mom too. I'll kill every summer in, in here, here again and again. To if, get my baby To back. go out there and find my baby. And yep. Cookie couldn't do nothing but respect it. You know you caused mm -hmm. me a lot of hurt, arm um, and danger. But now that you put it that way. Yeah, Cookie would have did the same thing. Yeah, I don't have nothing boys. but respect for you. So yeah. it is what it is. And you know, they really didn't show how, you know, they closed out and all of that good stuff. But come to find out. A, I'm getting ready to call the girl Asia. My God, don't sell. <laughs> China. Got the moment. Got China. China, China told um, Cookie that Miss Poundcake is on hospice. And she was yeah. like, what? Huh? It's cancer. Like so, of course, you know Cookie. She's not going to let that go. No. Nah. And whatnot. So, Cookie ends up going to the prison to go visit Poundcake and whatnot. And Poundcake was really... I just want to know what Poundcake did. To not be at the hospital on hospice, man. Yeah, I don't really know how that works. Like, yeah. I know, like, a lot of times around here, because sometimes when you live in a smaller area, some of the rules that apply to the big cities don't apply here. Yeah. So sometimes when you get sick in jail in the prison system here, you know, they will let you come home on hospice. You know, if you're bad enough and they know that, basically, you can't do skit if you wanted to. They'll let you come home, you know, put you on mm -hmm. release, put an ankle bracelet on you and whatnot. So I'm like him. Like, what did... What did she do? What were her charges? The only thing I could think of, if she, was out, if she was out there trying to find her daughter, that, you know, she probably went and shook down a couple of people. You know, she might have choked out a few hoes. <laughs> uh, I you know... I don't blame him. She's trying to find a, and I told I told Annette, I said it's crazy that her baby wasn't birthed out of a loving relationship. It was it was rape. It was rape. And she still got that that love for the child. So that's 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 deep. That's a mother's love right there. Yeah, now. that is deep. So it really don't matter how the child get here, everybody needs some love. Hello. It was so, you know, Pooja said, right? I need love. He said he needed it with a big head cell. <laughs> so um and so, you know, Pound Cake was kind of, you know, excited and kind of shocked that Cookie came mm -hmm. back in here. She said, Cookie. I've been shocked too. You t always told me you would never come back in here. So basically, they let her know right there. That girl loved you. Mm -hmm. If she came back to the prison where she had hell to pay yep. and you were part of it, yep. she really does care for you. And Cookie went on with the, you know, when people sit, you try to be nice to them. Yeah, like, so you look good, man. She said, I know. I'm about, I'm, about to die. Die. Yeah, I'm about to die. Because you Cookie, <laughs> you sitting up here starting to lie to me. Basically, I know I look like I mean, skin. you ain't going to walk up in the hospital and somebody laying in the bed and tell them that, you know, bruh. You look like You skin. look like skin. Yeah, you ain't about to do that. Huh? You did that? I would. No, you 
Yes, I would. No. Yes, I would. <laughs> yeah, you you a true fiend, but you ain't you ain't that much true fiend. You I would try to avoid answering it, but if somebody asks me how they look, I'm going to and tell them. No, I'm just talking about just walking in and telling no, them. No, no. Because she ain't asked Cookie what how she look. Cookie just went there and said, yeah, pound cake, you looking good, girl. Yeah, if you don't ask me, I'm not yeah. going to tell you. But if you uh, ask me, I'm going to tell you. Like girl, they say I'm gonna tell you. You gonna be like my dear, be like, oh, you got nice, nice, nice shoes. <laughs> say them hospital slippers are bombed out. <laughs> Baby blue looks good on you, man. They. So um, we going back to like the Andre scenes and whatnot. And Andre actually was had the paperwork to show his father. Andre is the skit, man. Now, ain't him. You can break down what happened because I don't even I, remember now. I don't care if Andre bipolar, crazy. Schizo, the he, boy is smart. Smart as a whip. Smart. He was able to do research to find out that Eddie then got other companies. Well, this is the first part. Say he got other companies that them came in and bought up Empire Stock so they can turn around and create this false insider trader so that Empire can be shut down and all of them get locked up. But stay under the FCC. But stay by, they bought enough stock to stay underneath the FCC. So that's why Andre was telling Lucius that that's why Eddie was pretty much taking this thing personal because he was going to benefit hmm. from this deal. So this deal had to go through. Sorry, let me fix this thing. I'm thinking, I was man. looking at it. I said, Yeah, we're a little cricket here. We back. We can do that. <laughs> we can do that with our family. You know, we ain't got to be bougie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he was benefiting personally off of it because we was going to find later on that this ninja is broke. Way broke. And when you broke, you do do some desperate stuff. But why do that to an old friend that helped you out, man? And that's how people are. they scandalous. Yeah. But here's the thing that Andre... Andre was able to present the information to Lucius, but there still wasn't any concrete evidence that yeah, he needed Eddie proof. was behind all of this. Even though... Andre all the signs was pointing, pointing in that direction. Ford Motor Company. Yeah. But, um... You know, he even went through the files and was like, you know, some of these small businesses that, you know, these mock businesses that were made up, they were under these code names and nicknames like She Dragon and whatnot. And mm -hmm. all of those things resonated with Lucius because he, he was already like, knew, yeah. He said, crazy. oh, that's what he used to call his, his second wife. This is yeah. what he used to call such and such. So he already knew. But then he going to tell Andre, I'm going to need you to prove all of this to me. And I said, well, okay. Well, which, which show Eddie is dumb. To put the companies in the name of those, you that know. That he would recognize. Yeah, that Lucius would, would recognize them, yeah. So but. then we see Lucius, Aunt Dre, and of course the guard. They ended up um, going over there to the tennis court to see Celeste, wife number two. Is it two or three? Two. One. One, two, three. Life, because she's a. Don't matter. Yeah, like one of them. One of them. So go over there. Lucius went <laughs> over there to talk to her at first. And she was like, well, well, well. She shut him down real quick. Because yep, he's yeah, trying to shot. talk to her and trying to get information out of her. <clears throat> and then um, Lucius going to look at Andre and said, basically, you're up. And yeah. I said, oh, God. Andre's going to have to sleep with this woman to get, to get the information. information. You know he down. And you know, he, you know he'll pull that whoop pill out on you quick. Uh -huh. He already had an imaginary um, relationship with a dark-skinned woman <laughs> before we broke. So... Maybe he can have one with this real one. We don't know. But no, it didn't happen like that. What happened was Andre was able to, you know how Andre do. Yeah. Andre like, da da da. Yes. She said, oh, you're the smart one. So You went to Harvard. Yeah. So he was basically <laughs> finessing her with a whole lot of information and a whole lot of filler and a whole lot of bullshit in order to get this lady to talk and to get under her skin because he made it look like, in which he was, Eddie was going to allow Giselle to get more out of these deals than she was going to get. So while doing that, Celeste got all pissed uh -huh. off. All in their feelings. Yep. And they started spilling all the dirt about how he did this. He told he me to sell this said, yep, so I can, I can buy stock in this. Said all of us are going to be rich. All said you was down, Lucius. And this is what Eddie did. Cause he, what he do? He um, he got hung up in the Steve Lawrence Ponzi scheme and lost all. And everybody sitting there like, huh? Okay, so now this was the motive, and yeah, this broke. is why he was doing what he was doing. So Andre was like, yeah. And sh um, Giselle was actually going to work for Empire, making four hundred thousand dollars a year. Here's the paperwork right here, Pop. Look, Tyler. 
And oh, Lucia's opened up that piece of paper and the paper but was you, blank. But you know what I'm confused about? If she but that thought, was funny. If she thought that the deal was on the up and up with Lucian, they would make all this money. Why did she come at him like that when he came up on the court? You would think if you were going to be making all these millions of dollars, you know, you would pretty much been kissing his hind parts when he walked through the door. Because he, Eddie had already told her, remember he said that it was done. So at this point, she yeah. didn't think she had need to even kiss Lucius Hong gotcha. because yeah. he told her that it's good. That's right. Yep. So get parent. Look, and Eddie is so scandalous. He ain't even told the girls this, that the dealing went through. It's a no go. Yep. So now she pissed. She she going to whoop some hand parts right now. Yeah. She so she yeah. got doing condo. Yeah. But she got it back. She did, she, did. she canceled she did. the deal. Well, then later on in the episode. We got Lucius, and this pissed me all the way off, all the way, because y'all know Andre is doing all of this stuff, one, to save Empire, save the family, but he's yeah. actually doing a lot of this to get back under his father's, get in his father's good graces. We already know that. Exactly. So, Lucius going to look at Andre and say, okay, Dre, <laughs> you remember when you were nine years old. <laughs> And uh, the cops came in to raid me, and you took my gun and hid it in your legos. It just seems like you always had your my father's back in his best interest. What happened to that little boy? <laughs> I said, what the? Are we looking at the same freaking thing? Because this dude uh, still has still your back. got your back, because if he didn't dig into the stuff that Eddie was doing, all of them gonna be locked up. Locked. Not even broke. You, locked. You up. get years in prison for inside of trading. So Andre looked at his daddy just like this and said, March 22nd, 2005, 11 37 a.m. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And from that day on, yes. You looked at me like I was damaged goods, like something was wrong with me. Mm -hmm. And Lucia said, well, it is something wrong with you. You are damaged goods. Andre looked at his daddy and said, uh -huh. but what about you? You. Yep. You're damaged goods, too. Something wrong with you, too. And walked up out of his face like, you need to go see the same doctor I'm seeing. There's something wrong with you, too. Yep. And I said, okay, Andre. Snatch his head. Just snatch him. <laughs> So then we got this white boy, white boy from Chicago. It's the Eminem number two. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. But, but Eminem's way up here. Yeah, that's why I said Eminem number two. Yeah. Eminem is white, black like these. Yeah. This boy Eminem is white, like white, white like this. Yeah. So he up in there and Shine was telling Hakeem, said, hey, got this white boy from Chicago. I want you to mentor him, bring him up the ranks, da, 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 da. Hakeem basically looked at the white boy and was like, uh -huh. uh, I ain't in the in the business of saving <laughs> saving lives. So ended up happening was white boy had walked by while Hakeem was playing with his beats and doing whatever he was doing, trying to make some new beats out of some old beats, you know how it go. And they ended up having a good old rap battle. Yeah, good one too. Eminem style. Look, that's yeah. what we need in 2018. We need rappers to do rap battles. Yeah. Instead of all this freaking comparison crap and this and that, let's just battle, yeah, let's it, battle out. it out. Yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah. Yep. That's how you do it. Yeah. I'm here for it. Y'all here for it? I'm definitely here for it. Because all of them sound like these days anyway. Yeah. So, so that's what he did. And Hakeem couldn't do nothing but respect the guy's flow. And Put he ended up track. putting him on the track. Yep. And I said, that's how it should have went in the first place. But anyway. But that what he get for dissing the dude without seeing what he had. Yeah. So before Cookie had actually left Pound Cake's side, she told Pound Cake, she said, you know what? Before you pass away, I'm going to find your baby girl and I'm mm -hmm. going to bring her to you. Now, Pound Cake, she, was, she almost made me cry. Because Pound Cake told Cookie, said, you know what? I've never met my daughter. Don't know where she is, but I just imagine that she's in college right now. She mm -hmm. has a boyfriend, boyfriend, maybe even a girlfriend. Yeah. I'm cool with it. But she was like, you know what? And I'm sitting here like, she has actually concocted. Yeah, I got this story. In her head about what her daughter's but, doing. Oh. But we all do that, though. When you when you in a bad situation, 
you try to put your mind in a good situation. True. To think positive. That's what she was doing. So unless you're me. Yeah. So she didn't want to. You know, if she walk around thinking her daughter was dead, can you imagine what they would have done? That's probably why She's her can. No yeah, way. yeah. The cancer is doing what this. You know, Hold doing me. to her. Yeah. That's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Worry and stress will. Yeah. That's we'll cancer. Up. So they say we know. See, their cookie, she, <laughs> Lucia said already called cookie a few um, minutes before this because her heart rate went up and the blood pressure had went up. And that's what she realized. She being monitored. <laughs> so she went ahead and slipped the, brace, the uh, watch off of her wrist and put it on Portia. Wrist told Portia, I need you to breathe real calmly. Breathe in and out. Think about the Bahamas. Do something. But I'm going to need you to be calm because I'm about to do something. Well, she ended up going over there to the guard's house. Bo. Went over there and the wife just welcomed her with open mm -hmm. arms. Oh my God. My husband told me all about you and I didn't believe it. And da 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 da. I was like, what? He came from in the shadows of the dark. And he was like, oh, uh, you here to write a book? You know, you want my insight on, you know, what happened on the inside. I'm you like, dog, you don't want her to write no book. So the wife went ahead and went on to the back like a good old housewife would do. For them and cookie was ready just she she was able to basically tell him what the hell she was there for she, she shook him know, down shook him down was like listen i'm here about pound cake and i want to know about where this baby is now this is where he started getting all you know what you're not supposed to be at my house i can get you locked up i can do this she said honey i got so much dirt on cut you. the skit and I have enough power. I've had the mayor at my house. Yeah. So this is not what you want. I can actually destroy you. I so, can blow your life up. So he ended up telling Cookie that he had a, he had arranged because this baby fell under the paper bag test. Yeah. And she was able to go into a good foster care system called Hope House where mm -hmm. they took white and lighter skin black children and put them into the foster care system it basically was like brokers that was actually buying into this mm -hmm. and you know y'all know how i go yeah so he told her that's what happened and she went ahead was getting ready to leave i was, I was like she gonna let she, she gonna, gonna, let, gonna him, let, him, let him walk with that so before this we had found out that you know him and his wife had never had kids she can never get pregnant da, 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 da. so cook is looking at him like hmm, huh. you may not uh -huh. have no kids but he got kids but he got a whole lot he don't sold his wife a good old story talking about some when he was you know with him being a guard he was a good, a good counselor and a mentor, mentor. So, like what oh he was mentoring all right uh-huh he was touring mm -hmm. his men parts so and you know, the wife is just clueless to everything that goes on while he's at work. Basically, he's a, mm, and then he comes home and lay beside her, and he's a nice old husband that brings home the bread. Uh huh. So, Cookies get ready to leave, and the wife approached her and said, Oh, you're going to leave so soon. I have some pound cake and lemonade for you. She, she said, I have to go. Girl. But I'm so glad to know that your he's husband still loves, loves to eat thing. him some pound cake. I said, Cookie. <laughs> but so the she, wife was stupid. She didn't catch she it. She didn't catch it. She didn't catch it. But then Cookie left, went outside, and verified with Thursday. Yeah. That Hope House actually did exist. And I said, okay. okay. But then Cookie went back to the house. I was like, what you doing now? What you, what's, what's happening? She told the wife, she said, listen, look at this picture right here. Your husband reaped women in that prison. Uh huh. Many of them. And he actually does have children. And one of them is by this woman here named Pound Cake. You gotta get out while you, you can. You need to get out while you, you can. can. Give me some information. She's like, huh, 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 huh. He rose up and basically dead that that um that situation. But Cookie had she did what she supposed to head did. Yeah. So she So that's why home. that's why she didn't blow it up in the house because she wanted to go verify with with Thursday first. That yeah. the place existed. So she was able to throw out some real facts. So the wife would, you know, when she settles into herself, she can go research for herself and then she'll be like, oh, she ain't lying. Nope. So that's what you got to do. Hit them with something to make them think and make them go search for. Exactly. So that's what happened there. We never got to see this baby because I'm sure this is about to come up soon. Yeah. Hopefully in the next few episodes. Yeah. So what else happened? Ah, rah, rah. Jamal. Jamal. Oh. Which I wasn't going to talk about, but I guess we have to because of the ending. 
Jamal ain't nobody feeling angry. Jamal ain't nobody feeling shoot him up. Jamal, nobody wants anything to do with Jamal. So Tori, Tori don't relapse and everything, y'all. Tori oh, yeah. gave him she the bright idea. Deals, like them mugs and m and boy. Because um, Jamal was like, if I can get my music in front of the right audience, I can make them listen. I can make them enjoy it. But who, when, what, why? Tori was like, okay. Basically, yeah, can I, make that happen. I, I yeah. can make that happen. Yeah. Well, instead, they ended up going to a club. And they ended up get you know how y'all do? Get the DJ to play the <laughs> play this track. Yep. See Anonymously. What, see what everybody is doing, what they vibing to. So basically when Andre comes, I mean not Andre Lord, Jamal comes out with his name on it, it's gonna click and they can identify with that night and it's, the word is gonna spread. Yep. Good job for you, Tori. Mm -hmm. It worked. Yep. So then at the end of the episode, you know, Lucius comes back home. He's talk talking to Cookie about his day. She was real short with it. So yes. immediately he was like What's going on with you? Cookie said, listen, today I visited somebody that's dying and another one that's living a lie. Mm -hmm. This whole health thing, you know, you want the old cookie back and you know, want everything to go back to how it was, but I don't want to go back mm -hmm. to the way it was. I can't, different. I can't do this no more. I can't do the lying, the deceit, the evil. Yep. I basically, I we can't need, do you the way that you do you. We need to be partners. And and we need to ride this thing together. You gonna have to be straight up with me or you not gonna be able to do nothing. Lucia said, hold on, hold on. I thought you was about to break like up that one, yeah. with me. It did sound like that though. I thought she was gonna yeah, say, it did sound, I'm yeah. back that's my usually, That's usually how people end it with you too. So she basically asked him, basically you, you here for this or what? Because I wanna be better and I have to do better. And he said, I am better. You are my better. So now are we gonna get a we gonna get um, jury duty, Lucius. Huh? Huh? I still don't trust him though. I don't trust him either. I don't trust him. He'd do anything right now to get some of them cookies. And but I, I, said, I but I guarantee you, when come time to get some of them cookies, he ain't gonna be monitoring her heart rate. And she ain't been clear to handle six. Hmm. She, Cookie been running around these streets. She been running around. Yep. Still doing business, shaking people down. I can't even be mad at it though. But it was a pretty good episode. Um, not a lot happened, but I, I think that we're on a good pace. Thank God that this season, this part of the season, we seem to be on a really good pace to getting some, some yeah. skit taken care of. But where's I'm, Cookie's I'm, mama? Yeah, where's she at? We need to show up. Where's I'm, Alfred? I'm going to say this right here. And don't y'all talk about us. We just saw Proud Mary this weekend. We're not going to talk about it. But it was a good movie. Yeah, we were super late. It, yeah, we were super late. It was a good movie. And it so much remind me of Cookie and Empire, man. It's Cookie on, on steroids. steroids. It was so, that ending just took me all the yeah, way Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, that was yeah. a good so movie. So if y'all haven't seen Proud Mary and y'all were like, you know, just another movie, you'll see it at a later time. Yeah. See that. Yeah, see that. that's real good. There's ways to see it now. I'm yeah. Just saying, straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South.